Welcome to the Michiana Business Podcast, where we put local legends and businesses in the spotlight for everyone in our area to see. If you love small businesses and success stories, then you're in the right place. You're listening to the Michiana Business Podcast with your friends, hosts, and owners of industrial office cleaning right here in Michiana, Caitlin and Alonzo Perdomo. Today, this is actually our very first um, podcast as Michiana Business Podcast, so we're super excited. And we have Vincenzo Verderame. Is that right? Wow. Ufa, no, it's perfect. I can't believe it. Grazie. <laughs> I love Italian. I, uh, yeah, anyway, that's a, it's a beautiful language. But um, So we're really excited to have you today. Vinny is um, the owner of Enzo Pizza. And there's one here in Elkhart. There used to be one in South Bend at Scottsdale, but that closed down some time ago. Um, he owns several of them. You're the founder and uh, owner of Enzo, right? So we just want to welcome you, Vinny. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. Appreciate it. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, yeah, of course. All right. So um, why don't you just start by everybody I'm sure already knows, but tell us where you're from. I am from Italy. It's a... Uh... When I was a young man, I worked for my father in a, in a coffee shop in a train station. Oh, cool. And I started working when I was probably about seven years old. Wow. And I worked to every single day to the time I left Italy. And I never get paid for it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, you know, I enjoy working, you know. Yeah. We spent to school on a mid time, but I don't care about school. <laughs> hey, you've been a successful business owner, so, you know, that's good. It was funny. My father, once a week, he was going to talk to the teachers. And once a week, I ran away from home for one night. No way. <laughs> Every single this year is happened for many, many years. Wow. I was going to sleep in my hand, my uncle, you know, and then they take me back <laughs> to forgive it this time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is awesome. But I enjoy working, but I don't want, I, it's, I never did it one time on working in my life. Don't even once. Really? I, I listen in a school. I listen to the teachers. I never open up a book. I never did any, any, any on working. Wow. That is amazing. Well, right. it's out for you. <laughs> I'm a partner for the books. <laughs> well, good. Um, so tell us then, how did you start Enzo? Did it start in Italy? Did it start here in the U.S.? No, it's, I started in the U.S. I was working in a ship. Oh, wow. Because I want to see the wall. So okay. you, know, you, you poor guy, how are you going to see the wall? You go work on a ship, <laughs> and you're going to go see the wall. Nice. I worked on the ship for about 10 months. Okay. And I don't like it. You didn't so, like it? I don't like it. So the ship he wanted to Detroit, Michigan. And the, I put on my best clothes on, left everything on, the, on board. I got $50 in my pocket. And they say, I want to go to see New York. I want to I want to see New York, stay six months in New York. And then I go back to Italy. <laughs> But uh, I went to New York. I got lost in, in Detroit. I was looking for train station. You know, I started looking for train station about 5 p.m. By 1 a.m., I was frozen. You know, it was cold. It was in October, the end Whoa. of October. I don't even know where to go, what to, what, what, where to go anymore. Aww. So I stopped for the police. And the police, I told them, Detroit to New York, Detroit to New York. They take me to the police station. And they, they write, they, they look on a phone book. The second guy will speak Italian. I told him I got four days permit. <laughs> and I want to go see my relative in New York. So they want to know, say, I want to go with the plane or with the bus. I don't even know. It's a, I, I'm looking for the train because in Italy, everything is a train station. Right. I said, I'm watching the plane, I'm watching the, the bus, they call the bus, they call the train, and the, the, the airline, and then the bus, it was $38. Oh, wow. <laughs> the airline was out of my range. 
I shall take it to the bus. So they take me to the bus station. I give me the money. They bought me a ticket. Wow. I went to New York. That is amazing. How old were you? I was 17. Okay. That's wild. Okay, so what you got to New York? New York it was a beautiful city. Aww. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. First time in my life. I lived in New York for seven years. Nice. And the, I really, I was working all day, a party all night. <laughs> That's, nice. yeah, yeah, I bet it was. <laughs> so, but, in New York, is that where you started, Enzo? No, then there's something, it, thing is up in life, you know, change your friends. Mm -hmm. And the, in New York, I always do, I work with a waitress, if I don't speak any English. Wow. You know, I was, a, I work in a coffee shop. And then the last job, I was a junior job with the Meta Publisher. Okay. And the uh, uh, thing is happening in the, in the life, and uh, I'm going to make money. Yeah. I quit my job in the uh, uh, Meta Publisher, and uh, I ended up in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Okay. That's where I started working on a pizza shop. Nice. I did about six, seven states. Before I got lucky, I worked about uh, five years with other people, you know. Yeah. And finally, I come in Indianapolis. I got a, I got the opportunity to start my own business. Nice. Which was in uh, Expo Ball in uh, in Bishop Row in, in Indianapolis. Okay. Bowling alley. It was Eddie Lane. And oh really? I, I don't know anything about bowling. I don't know. <laughs> when I started, it was the summertime, it was slow. Better I can pay the rent with my quarters, you know. I got, you know, it's a, uh, but the uh, winter, the, the folly come over. Man, the business, he went like crazy. That's awesome. You know, it's a, uh, I was working over there. When I don't work, it was 16 hours a day. Sometimes it was go to 18 hours a day, wow. seven days a week, but I enjoy it. Awesome. That's the way we started. And that was in 1981? 1981. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Good for you. How did you learn to make pizza? I mean, is that something, obviously, it's like a natural, maybe it's a natural Italian thing or? It's a, it's a, I learned in, uh, in Pennsylvania. That's when I started the first time. Oh, you know, okay. It's, but then, you know, I work with a lot of different companies. Because everybody was promising something, and then at the year, six months, a year and a half, I find out they was just lied to me, quit, go to uh -huh. go work for another another company because I really, my dream it was I want to I want own my own business. That's awesome. Good. So and then in many years, you you know all the experience I got, all this pizza shop I work. And the, even the years I work, you know, I changed the recipe a few times, tried to improve. Yeah. The best quality you can. And the, you quality know, quality for it, sure. You never, you know, you always need to focus. You always can improve yourself. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, good. So now, 1981, you started. How many, um, how many pizzerias? How many Enzo's are there right now? Right now, I only got four left. Four, okay. Yeah, I got a, a, the Enzo Pizza in the Elkhart. Mm -hmm. And I got Enzo Pizza downtown Indianapolis, which got damaged for the protester. We just opened oh, up. Oh, it did? Yeah, they, they, oh, they, they no. destroyed they destroy downtown Indianapolis. But oh, no. I'm that's sorry the way it was. That. And then I got a Enzo Pizza uh, Madison Avenue, which is uh, with drive through. Oh, okay. Where is that? In, uh, uh, in, in, on the south side of Indianapolis. Okay. And then I got a, a one in Franklin, more south, with the drive through freestand building. Okay. And, the, and then I own a Philadelphia Steak and Fry. I own one, one Philadelphia Steak and Fry. You know, the sandwich. Philadelphia Steak, uh, which we do really good. I own that about 20 years now. Really? I didn't know that. That's awesome. 
I'll have to taste that. If it's as good as Enzo's, then I'm sure it's awesome. It's good, but there's only one location. Okay, and that's down in Indianapolis also? 86 in Zionsville. Oh, okay. For 20 years. We do breakfast and lunch. We close four o'clock Monday to Saturday. Very cool. Good for you. Wow. You are an awesome entrepreneur for sure. Good for you. You're going to enjoy what you do. Yep, that's true. Well, how about having a, how about an Enzo's in South Bend? Are we, is there one in the making maybe possibly soon? We're looking, we, we, I would like to do one, you know, it's a, because I got the people, the right people, because it's Jerry and Federico, because you can open up any more stores anymore because yeah. it's a, really nobody, he wants to learn. Yeah. Nobody wants to work. Everybody wants to make the money, but you know, you're going to sacrifice. That's the only yeah. way you can make the money. You know that. Any other way, you can, you know? Yeah, that's true. You have a sh sugar daddy, then it's different, you know? <laughs> that's really what we all had one of those. <laughs> but, uh, well, good. I hope that you guys find something soon because I will be there probably several times a week. And You know, we're looking for some location, but we like to buy the property, so that's what we're looking for. Oh, good. You know, it's a, Smart. It's a free stand building, so we can find one of those. That's what we like to do because Jerry and Federico, because I cannot do no miracles. Right. <laughs> we, the right people because we do everything from scratch. Right. Amen? You know, yeah. the thing that we like to bring it to in Elkhart or in South Bend, it will be the pasta. Mm -hmm. Oh, make it one by one, and a sotera we shake one by one because we we do over here in the, on the south side in the two three stand building. And we sell a lot of pasta. Oh yeah, I bet. We do everything from scratch one by one. Really, that's awesome. You all, you know, the Alfredo sauce, chili mm -hmm. Alfredo, and we make the sauce one by one. And we and the we serve on a drive through. You know, you're gonna wait five six minutes. Still, but it's worth it. You know, that's awesome. At least that's what we do. That sounds so good. You're making me hungry right now. I'm gonna be actually down in Indianapolis in a couple of weekends. I'll probably have to swing by and get some. Sounds. Please uh, let me know. This way we we met each other. Then I I buy you lunch. You know. Aww. Yeah. Hey, so, thanks. I'll, I'll yeah. take you up on that. <laughs> All right, so what is your favorite part of being a successful business owner then? You know, it's a, I, I can provide for my family, you yeah. know, and, the, and, the, and my dream, it come true. Aw, that's, that's awesome. The, that's a, and the, I met a lot of nice people. You know, I got a lot of customers of mine. Yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's a, for me, my customer is like my family. Yeah. You know, I to you know at the you see you know two three months they see the kid you get a you get a so it's a you, it's a family. It's you a know. connection. Then you, you, know, you know the people, their friend. Sometimes make a believe they come in, make a believe his friend over there. You go, hi Frank. They turn around, <laughs> nobody's there. You know, it's a <laughs> joke. I enjoy it. Yeah, That's that's awesome. I love that. I'll tell you what, one thing about Enzo's, your culture is so cool. Like just the one here, the one in South Bend, the one in Elkhart, culture is phenomenal. And it's just such a great place to work and a great place to eat. You know, it's just, you, you've done a really good job with everything. So, good. you know, it's the, the employee is like my family. Yeah. I mean, you know, you spend, you spend the more time with the employee you spend with your family. I was working open to close every single day. Mm -hmm. I don't work in a, in a restaurant. The three years is going to be Ego's one. But before that, I'm working seven days a week every single day. Yeah. You know, open to close, open to close. But I enjoy it. Yeah, that's so good. I love that. Well, is there anything else you want to share with us about, about your business or yourself? It's, uh, you know, it's... Uh, it was, uh, I really enjoy what I do and uh, what, what I can say to people, you need to dream, keep it dreaming. You're going to do a lot of sacrifice, 
enjoy, do something you enjoy to do. So you know enjoy to do, don't do. Yep. Because uh, it does it gonna make your life uh, easy. That's you're true. gonna enjoy what you do. You exactly. know, and keep in dreaming and never give up. Yes. That's, it. That's the way it works. Good. That's so true. <laughs> All right, time for the rapid fire. Um, what's your favorite book? Oh my god, I I'm not that much a reader. Okay. But, oh yeah, right. <laughs> I'm not that much, reader, but uh, I it's a Papillon. Oh, okay. You know, you know that book? It's a, I've never it's read story. it. It's, it was a, somebody got in jail in uh, in Spain and the step of his life. They were, this is probably my my favorite book. You never give up. That's awesome. What's it called? Papillon. Papillon. You know Papillon. you. Yeah. You can watch the movie. I think the movie was uh, from with Steve uh, Steve McQueen. Oh, okay. You know, I I think it's called P A P I L L O N. Okay. And it's a true story, but somebody got a he, he got lock him up in the French. They they ship in some island in South America. You know, it was in the middle of Norway. And the one way or the other, he, he escaped one time. But you know, I never got because he just figured out how to do. But it was in the middle in the, uh, the ocean and the coconuts. <laughs> Days, but you know, wow. it's, but he, he made it's a, how we, I recommend it to. Uh, watch the movie and or read the books. I read the books because it was I can't stop. It. You know, I think I read it, the book like this uh, the last of the week I read it, but I'm talking about it. Long time. About Forty years ago. Wow. Well, good. That's good. I'll have to check that one out. All right. How about your favorite restaurant? No restaurant. I like seafood. Really? Uh, I thought you were gonna say Enzo. <laughs> Well, yeah, so it's a, it's a, it is my favorite restaurant. <laughs> yeah. I eat it there almost every day. Yeah. But, you know, but uh, if I go out, I go for seafood. Good. Okay. What's your favorite seafood? It's a, a raw fish. The a, a longer Sushi. the fresh, anything raw, I love it. Really? Wow. Okay. Because I was raised in uh, Sicily. True. You know, it's uh, the. There is a lot of raw fish you can eat it, and uh, and I enjoy that. It's very healthy for you, so that's good. All right, and what's your favorite pastime? What do you like to do? Well, it's uh, spend the time with the family and friend. That's my favorite. Good. And uh, I I enjoy to play pool. Do you? Well, I'm a pool when I get down there too. Then I love pool. That's what I do. I got a friend of mine. We very close. Uh, uh, we almost even. When yeah. We play. When we play, we really have a good time. We don't play that much. Maybe once a month, this and that. You know, nice. it's, uh, drink some wine and we play pool with each other. <laughs> each other. That is awesome. Well, very good. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, I think that's all we have. If you're out there listening and you want some amazing food and great culture, I would definitely recommend Indo Pizza over in Elkhart, Concord Mall. Um, and if you are a business owner in the area, Michiana area, feel free to check out our website, michianabusinesspodcast.com and sign up on our calendar. We'd love to chat with you and highlight your business too. So thanks again, Vinny, so much for coming on. We really if you're in the Michiana area and would like to have us put your business or story out there for everyone to hear, sign up at michianabusinesspodcast.com. Until next time, thanks for listening.